hello guys so this is the video editorial for the problem crying colors <laughs> in january long two so this is the first problem the easiest problem in the division one division uh so yeah before we start i'd like to give a brief introduction about myself i am istasis mishra uh i'm a fourth year undergrad at triple eighty hyderabad i have been to icpc twice in my first and second years and i have also been to uh, i've also represented india in iy 2018 so yeah let's just uh first understand the problem right so you have a total of three uh three end balls uh the colors are uh red green and blue so you have n balls so they're exactly n balls of each color so you have n balls of red n balls uh, n blue balls and n uh, n green balls now these three n balls are now distributed into three boxes so that each box contains exactly n balls right so the boxes can have a, mix, a mismatch of colors but each bo a box has exactly n balls initially so you would like to uh, you would like this configuration so for the first box contains all the red balls the second box contains all the green balls the third box contains all the blue balls so yeah the order of boxes is important here so the first balls uh, the first box needs to contain all red balls so even if the second box has all the red balls all of them need to be transferred to the first one so how do you do the transferring right so there are uh, so you perform this operation multiple times possibly zero number of times and then you need to end up with this configuration what is the uh, operation that we are allowed the operation is that you pick any two different boxes you pick one ball from these two boxes and just swap them so you need to determine the minimum number of moves required to uh, reach this end configuration okay so now let's look at the constraints. So the number of test cases can be up to 1000. The number of balls can be up to 3000, right? So 3N. Uh, all of these, uh, these two constraints are just saying that the total number of red balls, the total number of green balls, and the total number of blue balls is N. And each ball, box initially also has N number of uh, balls. The input format is some, something like this. So this is the first box. So, yeah, the I, uh, number of red, green, and blue box in the ith box. So, this is box 1, this is box 2, this is box 3. And this is red balls, uh, green balls, <laughs> and blue balls. So, red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, green, blue. And finally, box 1, box 2, box 3, uh, and so on. So, first one, for example, you can see that there are three red uh, balls in the first box three green balls in the second box and three blue balls in the third box so you can see that they're already in the configuration that we want so the number of moves you need to make is zero right so you can kind of see this as a 3x3 matrix and you need to make all of these zero and the diagonals n right so here five so you need to make the diagonals five and everything else zero so in three moves you are supposed to do that so these are the three moves that you can see so swap a green ball a ball in the first box with a red ball in second box so this and this you make zero because you swap them the green ball in the first box and the red ball in the second box you swap them right if you swap them these two become zero right just these two become zero and then you have two left right so okay so swap a blue ball from the first box with a red ball from the third box so this and this you swap right once again you swap a yeah okay so these two you make zero these two you make zero these three will become five yeah so in three moves you can finish it so how do you so take some time now if you could not understand this problem during the contest if you understand it now take some time and try to think of a solution and then uh, then we continue right so yeah yeah so 
instead of box one two three let's just call them red box blue box and green box right so red box is the first box green box is the second box blue box is the uh, third box right so i'm going to call the box by the name of the uh, color of the balls that should be in it okay so yeah so there are there are two possible cases here okay so let's see i have red green blue so this is a red box uh next up green the second box is the green box and the last box is the blue box okay so you have all these boxes and let's say you have something like this this has a red ball and this has a green ball so to undo this to undo this how many operations do you think it will take it should take one operation right so you can just uh, swap them you can just swap these two and you are done right so if there is any uh, exchange possible right so this is box zero so zero let's call our matrix m right the um, uh, input matrix let's call it m so m zero one will tell us the number of green balls in red box right and m one zero will tell you the number of red balls in green box right so the what will be the number of moves you can make to exchange these two min of these two right so if there are let's say three balls like this okay there are three balls like this and uh two red balls like this you can make three such things right so that would mean one is blue here so we'll handle this, that case later as of now just handle the simple swap case okay in this case you can see that these two these two green balls will go here and these two red balls will go here so you just swap them right so you take the min of these two and then you subtract that that min value right and then you need to add so in m zero zero you will need to add the min value right because the the red balls here are transferred here now the green balls here are transferred here so uh, sorry the green balls here are transferred here so m one one also plus equals min so this you do for every pair of bo uh, boxes so how many pairs are there there are three pairs so four lines of code 12 lines of code here and finally we have the case of the cycle right the cycle goes something like this what if there is a red ball here a blue ball here and a green ball here right so after all these cases are gone only the cycle cases are remaining right so all the remaining balls can be swapped in how many swaps so this you can undo in how many swaps so let's see so first let's uh, exchange these two right these two will that help that will put the green ball in the right place but the blue ball in the wrong place right but we can't put the blue ball in the right place and green ball in the right place at the same time so let's start by putting the green ball in the right place right so green ball goes here and blue ball goes here and now this is reduced to our original case right so all the cycle cases and you can see that this is true for any of the cycle cases in <coughs> one move one ball will be in the right place the other ball is still in the wrong place but now after that one move it reduces to the first case the exchange case right so there are two cases exchange case where you can exchange and both the balls in the right place and 
at times what happens is uh, there is no way to do that right so for that you need now two moves right to resolve the cycle case you need two moves okay and that is the solution right this is not a very difficult problem this is a cake work problem right so that that is our final solution and yeah so let's just to take a look at the code if you look at the editorial you can see that this is exactly the solution there also uh let's look at the code here right so yeah this void solve is solving the problem right so main is uh, just doing input output thing uh taking test cases and everything but uh, this solve will be solving the problem for each of the test cases okay so you take n you take this a this a is our m matrix input right so total number of moves we need to print current current moves is telling us currently what is the number of moves that you want to do right so initially we are looking at the red and the blue boxes the red and blue boxes so 0 2 so this will give us the number of blue balls in red box this will give us the number of red balls in blue box right so you take the min of that this you subtract this you add whatever we have discussed uh, till now and total number uh, we need to print the total number of moves right the total number of moves will be what uh the like summation of all the curve moves among the all these three cases it's also commented you can see this code this is the editorialist uh, code in the editorial you can uh, take a look at it so this is looking at red blue now blue green now red green all the pairs are gone now after all the pairs are gone uh, you don't need to individually check the boxes anymore right because uh, e any ball that is in the wrong position is a part of a cycle case why cannot uh, why cannot it be a part of the uh, the exchange case because all the exchange cases we have uh, we have resolved already so yeah so the number of uh, we'll just look at red box and all the blue and green balls in it the red box right in the red box the number of red balls are in its right place but all the balls that are not in the right place are a part of a cycle scenario right so a01 the number of green balls in red box and the number of blue balls in red box are in the wrong place and they are a part of a cycle a case so for these both we'll need two moves each so the total number of moves we just add two into uh, the number of wrong balls and we just print the answer and we are done right so you can see that the whole code what is the complexity of this code now right so what, what is the complexity of this code there is just one nested loop and, and even this runs in o of one so for each test case the code runs in o of one time so overall our complexity is o of t okay so not a very difficult problem i hope you enjoyed uh, uh, solving this and getting to know uh, the solution of this uh, try to submit this after knowing the solution it is a bit hectic to code because of this but you can see that most of it is just copy paste so this zero is just turned into one here and yeah this two is turned into one here and that is it right not a very difficult problem so please do subscribe to uh, coach of channel i hope you enjoyed this video and do watch the other editorials as well thank you